Good morning everybody. How are we all? So, this morning I thought I would do a wee review on the Tassimo VV2. So I bought it as a wee random purchase um, two, maybe three weeks ago now. I've been buying a random purchase every month and this is my wee random purchase. I got it for £29.99 down for £80 out of Argos and I'm absolutely loving it. So what you basically is the it's the Tassimo pods. So I bought a selection in a Milka one Sucard hot chocolates a Cadbury one there's an Oreo an Oreo it comes with a milk cartridge as well and Patrick loves his coffee so he bought the Costa Americano but you can get loads of different types um, I bought this wee uh, holder as well off Amazon and I absolutely love it. So, today, as I say, I'm going to show you how to use it, how to clean it, things like that. Um, and I would definitely say, if you're looking for a wee um, gift, Maybe for your hubby or your wife or whatever it may be. Your dad, maybe, who loves his coffee. Then I would definitely recommend this. It is so simple to use, so simple to clean. And yeah, I would definitely rate it. I'd get a 5 out of 5 for me. For a, for what I paid for it, for £30, I would definitely get a 5 out of 5. So... At the side here, I'll take you in and let you see. At the side here, it's where the water goes. Some water here. The water has got a full to line. You basically slot it in like that, and in here. There's a wee cleaning pod, that's for the cleaning. Open that up, somebody's not taking the last pod out. Put this back over here, so we can see what we're doing. Putting in the cleaning pod. Setting it down, double click, one, two, putting your cup under and pressing the button and that will clean the system now, clean your line and it's like instant hot water, it really is, um, it's so so good. You can maybe get three drinks out of it. Um, and I think I, it is definitely a must for a, a gift idea. For only £30. I know somebody has just recently gotten it off of Berry for £28, I believe. And that is it, basically clean. So I'm just going to discard this water. Put it back under. Open this back up again. Take the 
cleaning pod out, put the cleaning pod back in the wee side compartment where you got in it and I'm going to put in my sucker pod. Now there is only one way that it can go in, there's a wee gap here and the pod just slots in there. You click it down once and then, oh, did you hear that click? And then click that. And then you're basic, basically pressing this button again to start it again. And out comes your hot chocolate. There we go. How instant is that? Now you couldn't get a coaster in that time to get your hot chocolate. And when this is just a bit finished, there's still loads of chocolate in your pod, I've found. So when that is just a bit finished, you can hear it, you hear the change, and it's changed. Just hold that a wee bit longer, press it down. That'll let that go for a wee bit longer. Clear out this cartridge that's in here a wee bit more. Leave it go, and it fills it up even more. is basically your hot chocolate made. How super simple, super easy is that. Once that stops flashing then you can take out your pod and that's you ready to go. So I, that's it, take out your pod. There you go, empty. In. and that's your hot chocolate complete and it is a nice frothy hot chocolate so I would definitely recommend the Tassimo VV2 is a bargain buy for a Christmas gift this isn't a sponsored ad or anything like that. It's just my personal view and I really like it. So I hope you have enjoyed that. Hope it's maybe gave you a wee idea. Yeah, a reasonably priced gift. Um, I'm going to add in at the end of this video, I'm going to add in we tutorial on how I made this pom pom garland and it's going to go in here for during Christmas. So if you want to see that then continue watching and you'll see the I mean the middle of the night as usual crafting. I hope you are all well and good and until next time if you can't be good, at least be kind. Hi everybody, so it's like just after four in the morning and I've been sitting at four in the morning, four in the night, four in the morning. I've been sitting making pom-poms because I'm going to make a wee pom-pom garland for my kitchen. When you see me doing my home tour or my decorates, you'll see my pom pom garlands. I think I've made some for every room now so far. Um, 
for how cheap it is to make Let me get a minute to pause for music right. Sorry I'm actually watching YouTube and I'm watching like home tours Christmas decorated home tours um, I so for how cheap it is for a ball of wool you can actually make like your garlands your pom pom garlands so I know there's I know everybody will probably know how to be making pom poms but for the few that maybe does now then I thought that I would do a wee tutorial on it that's the pom pom maker I got them off of Amazon, they came in four different sizes. For tiny ones to big ones, that size. Um, but the day I'm making the second size up, this is the second size. So what you're doing is holding it in there with your finger and winding it round. Winding it run. And bob and up. Not used to be Patrick's favourite nursery song. Pull, pull. Clap your hands. Just keep them winding. Run that one side. To make that one side of your pom pom. Winding it run. Do you end up with something looking like that? And then you close, cut that bit of fabric, sorry, no fabric, well. Cut that and then close that side over and open this side up and basically basically doing the same holding your finger in and winding it round. And winding. Until again you're quite happy with what, the thickness that it's going to be. Which would be about that. Again, just take your scissors, cut your wool, and then closing. That one out. So you can see there there's a wee gap. Put your scissors in the wee gap and cut through the one side. side the exact same so it looks the other side put your scissors in and start cutting through it's quite 
quite difficult to I'm saying it's difficult, it's not difficult, but you know what I mean. To get your scissors through this wee space. But it's fine. Cut off a bit of string. Oh well, even. And see the in between bit? That's where you're putting your wool. Put it in there. And pull it through. And then tie it. This, this is just what I do, guys. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong, but that's just what I do. And again, pull it. Then I take it round the back. Right there. Right the back. Underneath and it on the other side, it just means that it's knotted on the other side tight. <coughs> and then the wee levers, where you've wrapped the wool in, lift up on one side. Lift up on the other side, the can't just release and then pull them out. Just not that back together. And then it's ready for the next time. And there's your pom pom. Get a wee shake. Get a wee trim. Get all your wee. Fluffy bits, you get into your perfect circle. And that's it. There we go. One pom pom made. And then I've just cut off the longer bit of string. Now, if you want to do one like this, with the two, it's actually a lot quicker. I don't know what I've done with it. Makery. Thing. And a bit of pickle here. Actually, a long, a bit um, quicker to do the double coloured one. Again, just taking your two bits of wheel the same. Opening up your pom pom makeup. In there, placing your finger on it to hold it and start winding it round. Just keep winding, just keep winding, just keep winding, keep winding. This one comes together a lot quicker because it's two strands. Now obviously you've got the traditional method you can you can make them with your fingers as well, wrap it around your fingers. But get the pom pom maker. Cutting it off and folding it in. Opening on that side and basically doing the exact same thing again. I mean the two of them level, placing it in, 
holding it tight and run. And then round the garden. Just keep going run. Right to the edges. And back run again. Again, when you think you've done enough, cut and then close it. Yeah. Cut on a bit of wool, and there we go. And then we're going to cut through it again. Cut through here, all the way around. Looks like that when you start cutting it. Get to focus. There we go. This one side done. Turn on it run. Doing the same for the other side. No cutting your finger in the middle yet. And that's it. Taking your bit of wheel and placing it the middle of it and pulling it on the other side turning it in and putting it in a knot just pulling it tight as tight as you can without snapping it and then double knot it pulling it tight turn that in and do the same for the same bit of string or wool on the other side. Single knot, pulling it tight. Double knot, pulling it tight. And then you're just opening that side there, flipping it open. And the same with this side. Flip it open. It's just rolled right off the sofa. <coughs> that one didn't want to be made, I don't think. Trimming it down. And again, I'm going to cut that bit because I'm going to feed it through. So, no, I've got my Twine, get some twine. I'm basically just going to take my big needle Hope I can get that through it.
There we go. And we're basically just going to feel for where the hole is in the middle. A wee hole. There's a wee hole right in the middle if you feel the middle of your pom pom. There's a wee hole. And you're basically just threading it through like that. I'm just going to put 10 on this, 5 each. This is super quick to actually make. What is that pom pom just came apart? I've obviously not tied it tight enough so. Just need to watch guys when you are tying them that you're tying it tight enough. It still looks alright. We're alright. We survived it. Just threading it through. And you could keep them all together, close, close in. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to spread it out. Just need to make sure guys, see when you're tying it off, that you tie it really tight. Down. Uh, I'm just trying to get away. And I'm just going to knot that. So it's got a wee hook. I want if put it on a wee hook. And then I'll spread them all out to where I think they need to be. Make sure all the wee trimmy bits are 
equal. And that's it. I'm going to cut it here. And again, I'm going to just tie it so it can go into another wee hook at that side. And that is it. There we go. Simple and easy. Hope you enjoyed that one, wee guys. Wee guys. You can tell it's late. I'm babbling a load of rubbish. So, comment down below, guys. If you want me to do a, obviously this weekend I'm starting to decorate for Christmas. Comment down below and let me know if you want to see a, a decorate while I'm decorating each room. I'm going to do each room separately, obviously. Um, and let me know if you want to, want me to see, you want me to do a video on each room being decorated or whether you would just prefer just a home tour at the end. Comment down below and let me know what you think and I'll see um, what's most favourable. But I hope you have enjoyed the wee pom pom garland. That's for my kitchen, that one. You can do it in any colours, obviously colours to suit. Whatever you fancy. And all for the cost of a ball of wool. And I've still got okay. the wool. So you've still got loads that you would be able to make another couple of gallons out of that. I've still got loads of twine left as well. So, hope you have enjoyed that one guys. Um, take care of yourself and as always if you can't be good, at least remember and be kind. <laughs>